everyone and welcome back to another IU Recreational Sports at Home Workout. My name is Hannah Wilson and I'm a Program Assistant for Group Exercise. Today I'm going to be bringing you Pure Strength, which as it says in the title, is a strength-based format. Normally in Pure Strength we'd spend about 45 minutes picking one song for each muscle group. Since our workout today is only about 30 minutes, we are going to be excluding biceps and a little bit of hamstrings. But other than that, this should be a total full body workout. For equipment today, all you're going to need is a mat, or a towel, blanket, or some carpeted floors. You're also going to be needing a chair like the one I'm sitting on, or some sort of inclined surface like a couch or a set of stairs. You are also going to be needing some sort of weighted equipment. If you have dumbbells at home, you can totally feel free to use those. Today I am going to be using two water bottles. These are metal water bottles filled with water, so they totally provide enough resistance to give us an effective workout. A little bit of safety reminders, make sure that you have clear space that you're not going to run into anything and that you have shoes on just in case we drop those water bottles. In addition, our Spotify playlist will be linked below if you have a little bit of trouble hearing the music. I hope you guys are excited for this one. Let's get into it. All right, so we are going to get started out with a warm up here. Head to toe first, start now with that neck. We're going to take it to some neck rolls. Make sure we got a nice light bend in the knees as well. Good. In four, three, two, other way. Good. I hope you guys are ready for a good workout today. This was a fun one. In four, three, two, giving ourselves a big hug here, opening up the chest in and out. Out and in. Out and in. You'll notice we're going with the beat today. That is something that is going to happen with all pure strength sessions. All right, and taking it to some arm circles here. You can make these as big or as small as you like, whatever's going to feel comfortable to you. In four, three, two, take it back. Good. Warming up to the shoulders here. We're definitely going to need this for this workout today. Four, three, two, opposite elbow to opposite knee. In and out. In and out. Good. Squeeze that core nice and tight. In four, three, two. Drop it a little bit lower here. Into those squats. Down and up. Down and up. You can slow these down if you need to. Four, three, two. Pulse it out. Here we go. Woo! Feeling that burn in the booty. Three, two, one, and up. Four, three, two. Push up. Four, three, two, and up. Good. Nice and slow. Down for two and up for two. Down, two, up, two, down, two. Hold this next one down a little bit wider. Reach the side and up, side and up. Chest is nice and tall here, working through the obliques. And up, reach, and up. You'll notice my lower body is not moving at all. This should be totally done through the core here. Good. And four, three, two, heading into some lunges here. Step one foot back, taking this up and down. Down for two, and up for two, down, two, and up, two, down, two, good, up, two, speed it up, down, and up, down, and up. With these lunges, we want two 90 degree angles in our knees. Front knee should not be going past that toe. All right, other side here. Down, two, and up, two. Chest is very tall here. Imagine you've got a bug underneath that front heel. That's where all our weight should be here. Down, and up, down, and up. Good, almost done with that warm up. Four. Three, two, and one. Good job, guys. 
All right, we are gonna move into our first strength song here. I think we, first up we got triceps. So I'm grabbing my water bottles to be handy. We are starting out with some tricep dips like we did in that hit video if you tried that out. So you're gonna need that chair or inclined surface here. Notice my fingers are pointed towards my body here. Nice tall chest. Here we go, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. I found this plenty hard with my bent knees, but if you'd like to make this a little bit harder, you can extend through the knees here, long legs. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three. Those little pulses are really gonna get us. You can see it on my face how much I'm struggling. All right, down, up, down, and up, down, and up. Little rest coming here. And four, three, two, sit back on that chair, little rest. Oh yeah. All right, we got a few more of those dips coming. You guys got this. Three, two, down and up, down and up. Focus on really pushing up with our triceps, which is the back muscle in the top part of our arm. Shoulders should be down away from the ears. Careful not to shrug. Down and up, down and up. Four, three, two. All right, I am grabbing my water bottles here. We are taking a neutral grip with those water bottles and head into some tricep kickbacks. So hinge through those hips, row it up, keep those dumbbells or the water bottles right there. Kick them back. Back and down, back and down. I was totally feeling these with the water bottles. Three, two, one and down pulse 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 and down four three two and one good back into those singles few more with that neutral grip back and down back and down four three two and one i'm taking this to a supinated grip here so with this hands are going to be facing forward this is gonna feel a little bit harder here. Back and down, back and down. All right, good job, guys. Next, we are heading into our lower body set. This song is called Booty, so of course we're doing it. Definitely gonna be feeling this in the glutes and the quads. Starting first with the lunge. Back down, up, and in. Back, down, up, and in. Good. In four, three, two. Keeping that heel back. Down, and up. Down, and up. Just like we did in that warm up, this is going to be more of a split squat here. Remember, we got a bug underneath that front heel. Down, and up. Down, and up. Good. Chest is nice and tall here. Two 90 degree angles with our knees. And four, three, two, pulse it out. Three, two, one, keep going. In four, three, two, bring it in and out. Back and in, back. And in, all that weight should still be in our front heel here. Barely setting that toe down, we come back. Out and in, out and in, almost there. Whoo, feeling this in the quads. In, four, three, two, turn it around. Down, two, and up. 
two into those nice squats that we did in the warm up as well. Chest is nice and tall, big smiles. In four, three, two, pulse this out. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. We're down, two, three, good. Down for two and up for two. A little slower here, nice and controlled. Down, two, up, into those lunges, other side. You can start with that split squat if you want, or take it back, down, up, and in. All right, hold it in that split squat. Down and up. Down and up, down and up, good. Squish that bug underneath the front heel. Pulse, here we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Oh yeah, quads and glutes are feeling it. In four, three, two, in and out. In and out, in. Out, good. Almost done with this song, guys. Four, three, two, and one. Heck yeah. All right, so next we are moving into some chest. Starting out with just a few push-ups. I know none of us love push-ups, but they are good for our chest. So quite a few ways we can do this. I'm going to choose to do this on my knees. You can take your toes out. You can do these incline on your knees, or you can do these incline on your toes. So those incline options are gonna be a little bit easier, and doing this on your toes versus your knees are gonna be a little bit easier. Just pick the option that feels best for you. All right, down and up, here we go. Down and up, down and up. Make sure wrists are directly underneath our shoulders here. We're in a nice plank position, so straight line all the way from our head to our knees, or if you're on your toes, straight line it from the head to the toes. Totally okay to take these at your own pace. Four, three, two, sit it back. Good, nice child's pose here. Take a rest, stretch out through the chest. All right, we are now heading into an A press here. Down and up, down and up. We're gonna be here for a while, so get nice and comfy. Again, palms should be facing forward this way. Down and up. Elbows should be in line with our shoulders as we come down. Maybe even a little bit lower. Good. This looks easy, but we all know it is not. Down and up. Four, three, three down, one up. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. I've switched to more of a narrow chest press. If you'd like to keep this in the A press, you're welcome to do so. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. Four, three, two, and singles. Down, up, down, and up. Down, and up, down. And up, almost there. Three, two, taking it to a fly. Down, two, and in. Two, out nice and wide. In, two, good. Very controlled here. If you need to take this even slower, feel free to do that. If this is bothering your shoulders at all, you can take this into more of a field goal position as we come down. Down, two, and up. Two, four, three, two, slow down. 
Good job, guys. All right, we are now moving into shoulders. This one was probably the hardest one for me, but we've totally got it. Taking it into some shoulder taps here. So opposite hand is gonna reach for opposite shoulder, obviously. You can keep this on your knees, or we can take this up to the toes to make it a little bit harder. Tap, 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 good. Notice I've got a straight line from my head to my heels, like I was saying earlier. There we go. All right. Sit on back into that child's pose. A few more of those. Tap, 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 tap. Almost there in four, three. Two, sit back, child's pose. All right, next we are gonna be moving between downward facing dogs that you've seen in yoga before and a plank. These burn out the shoulders, so I'm heading into my very mediocre down dog. Booties in the air, and then shift forward into that plank. Down dog to plank. I am taking these pretty quick because I'm trying to stay on the beat of the music, but if you wanna slow these down, feel free to do so. Make sure that we're coming all the way into that plank so that shoulders are over our wrists. Good. All right, hold that down, dog. Little rest. A few more of these coming. Four, three, two. Give me that plank. Plank. Down, dog. Plank. Down, dog. Good. I told you this set was the hardest. I'm so sorry, but we got this. I'm getting stronger here. All right, sit back into that child's pose one last time. Next, we're heading into some pike push-ups. So we are making kind of a diamond shape with our hands as we start here. And opposed to a normal push-up with these, we are gonna be trying to focus on our shoulders. So our booty's gonna be up in the air, kind of like we were with that down dog. All right, so the head's gonna come down towards the hands and push up, kind of resembling a shoulder press. Down and up. My knees are pretty bent here, but that's because I have very tight hamstrings. If you can straighten your knees a little bit more than this, that would probably be good and make it a little bit easier. Down and up, down. Almost there, good job. Sit back into that child's pose. Well deserved after that one, guys. Next set we've got is back. So we are taking Supermans and Snow Angels with one of the best songs ever. Get yourself some room. All right, taking some nice field goal arms here. Focusing on coming up and down. Really working our erector spinae, which is a muscle that we often neglect. Up and down, good. Got singles here. Up and down. In four, three, two, slow this down. Take it up, down, two, and three. Up, down, two, three. Good. Up, down, two, three. Nice and controlled. Up, down. Two, keep going, few more. Up, down, two, three. Let's try to keep the toes on the floor here. Four, three, two, back to singles. Up and down, up and down. Make sure we got a really tight core here. That will help stabilize our lower back and prevent that pain. If you are feeling any lower back pain, try not to come up quite as far. Up and down, good. Four, three, two. 
All right, a little rest. We are next going to be heading into some snow angels. I did a really bad job with the camera frame demonstrating these, but just like we would with a normal snow angel on a nice snowy day, we're gonna be working into our lats here. So arms come up above the head and out. Down and up, down and up. Good. These look easy, but they are not. Four, three, two, take it slow. Down, two, three, and up. Those pulses, three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, pulse it up, good. Halfway there, pulse, 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 and up. Three, two, and single, down, down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, good, you guys are so close, I know my back was feeling it at this point, down, and up, down, good. And four, three, two, and we're done. Oh my gosh, I look dead. In a good way, of course. All right, next we are moving on to our core set. For this one, you're gonna need one of your water bottles, but all these exercises can totally be done without this as well. All right, first tend into some Russian twists here. You can keep the heels on the ground to make this easy. Leaning back will make it a little bit harder. Lifting up those toes will make this even harder, and straightening the legs will make it even harder. So find the option that's going to make this best for you. Down, up, and down. Up, and down. Good. Try to get that water bottle all the way down to the floor. Four, three, two, and hold. See if you can find whatever that best boat pose is for you. I'm trying to show off. Put my water bottle on my legs. And I never try to show off ever again. That didn't go well for me. Almost there. All right, good job. We're going to transition into our next one, which is an alternating dead bug here. So if you want the water bottle for this one, you're welcome to do so. If not, you can set it to the side. Alternating arm and alternating leg come out. So as I take left arm out, right leg is coming out. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Four, three, two. If you want to set that water bottle to the side, you may. Good. Try to keep those legs in that nice tabletop position as we come into neutral. Out and in. My lower abs were definitely feeling it at this point. In four, three, two, extend through those legs. We are going to head into some toe touches next. Ooh, enjoy this little break. I am using my water bottle once again, but totally optional. Try to keep the feet flexed here. Up and down, up and down. This is going to work on our upper core. Up and down, good. Up, down, two, three, up, down. Nice and slow. Four, three, two, good singles oh yeah we are killing it guys if you guys would like to take this up a notch you can reach opposite hand to opposite heel that'll work into our obliques a little bit more we can also take elbows out by the ears if that's gonna help your neck a little bit all right, alternate. One leg comes down at a time to finish out. Almost there. 
You can take these a little bit quicker with flutter kicks if you'd like. Down and up. Two and one. Good job. All right, we are going to head into our cool down here. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. All right, one knee comes into chest here. Deep breaths. All right, and extend through that knee. Like I said, I can't get my knee totally straight, but if you can, that is the goal here. All right, and that ankle is going to come over opposite knee. Glute stretch here. Three, two, and one opposite side. Knee comes into chest. All right, and extend through the knee. Hamstring stretch. Okay, and ankle is gonna come across opposite knee. Glute stretch, opposite side. Good. All right, go ahead and release. Take a big deep breath as we're in this corpse pose. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and flip over onto our bellies here. I'm heading into Sphinx pose to stretch out through my back. If you'd like to take a full cobra pose, you're welcome to do so. I think it puts a little bit of strain on my lower back, so I'm not gonna do that. All right, and bring one heel up towards the glutes. Quad stretch. Three, two, and switch. Good job. And go ahead and release. Push yourself up into that nice child's pose. Okay, we're going to come into a seated position here. Just find something that's nice and comfortable for you. And one arm is going to come across the chest here. Enjoy the shoulder stretch. We need it today. And take it overhead, tricep stretch. Man, I was jamming, that's embarrassing. All right, other arm comes across. Notice how my opposite hand is not on my elbow or my wrist. We wanna try to put it somewhere in the middle so that we avoid putting pressure on our joints. And take it up overhead, tricep stretch. All right, we're gonna take a side stretch on the opposite side here. Stretch out through those obliques that we've definitely worked hard today. All right, and switch. All right, go ahead and interlace the fingers to the front, puff up through the back. And go ahead and switch, interlace the fingers behind. Almost done. Okay, thank you guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that workout just as much as I did. I'm really sorry about the shoulder set. Gotta make do with the equipment that we have, so planks were our best option. Again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this, but if you have any comments or questions about this workout or about the Rec Sports at Home program that we're coming out with, make sure that you go and submit a comment card on our website. There is also an option on our homepage to ask the trainer a question. So our personal trainers are available to answer any of your questions about working out at home or things that you can be doing to stay healthy during this time. Once again, my name is Hannah and you guys will see me again soon since we have new workouts coming out every single Monday at noon. Have a good rest of your week, guys.